Hey everyone, this is Angel Frobix Gaming with a brand new video for Super Mario RPG. For more videos of the game, be sure to check out the playlist in the top right corner of your screen. If you're having a hard time defeating Johnny Jones in the post game of Super Mario RPG, then don't worry, you're not alone. This is a battle that requires you to get good by timing as many attacks and blocks as you possibly can to avoid getting wrecked by Johnny. I'll teach you how to block every move with a slow move breakdown in this video, but keep in mind that you might need to adjust your timing slightly as my first 6 year old reflexes are probably slower than yours. Before we move to the slow mo breakdown for the fight, let's start with the party composition. I'm taking sort of an aggressive approach, so I'm pairing Gino for a boost in speed and attack and Bowser for extra defense. Now, for the gear, I'm using the Ultra Hammer found in the Weapon World, the Hero Shirt bought from Croco in Bowser's Castle, and the Jinx Belt obtained after defeating Jinx for the first time, which I'll make a guide for later, so subscribe for that if you're interested. Moving on to the fight. The first thing you need to nail is Mario's attacks, obviously, and that's pretty easy. When you see the hammer on top of Mario's head, press A for the perfect timing. Moving on to Johnny's attack patterns. For the simple spear attack, wait until you see the movement of Johnny's arms reaching his back and press A for a perfect timing. For the diamond saw, there are two ways I like to deal with this. The first one is a visual cue. Take a look at the lower left end of the screen and press A as soon as you see the saw coming back. This is extremely difficult to nail and will really depend on how fast your reflexes are because the saw comes back pretty quickly. The other alternative that you have is paying attention to the sound. The blade trajectory as it comes and goes has a swoosh that ramps up before it hits Mario. As the blade comes back, press the A button when you hear the sound ramping up to do a perfect block. The skewer is probably one of the easiest to block. Ignore the spinning fork and press A as soon as you listen to the sound of the attack. Now, for the Fire Saber, another tricky one that is best countered by listening to the sound. There are three bursts of the beam, with the first being the one that strikes you. Count each beam and press the A button while you match the third sound burst. That's one, two, three. Now, I'll leave you with the rest of the fight in case you want to see what happens if you nail all your chain combos and get your special meter full. And that's it! With a little bit of patience, good timing, and luck, you'll eventually defeat Johnny and get an extra shiny stone as a reward. Be sure to check out more Super Mario RPG videos that I will be uploading to his playlist right here as I progress for the game. But for now, I hope this was useful, thank you for watching, and keep enjoying the game.